Now, he's one of the biggest English cricket success stories this summer. There's alliteration for you. Uh, an all-rounder, Moen Ali has become an inspiration for young British Asians playing the sport. Next week, he'll line up for England against Australia in his home city of Birmingham. Mike Bushell went to Edge Baston to meet Mo and get a masterclass in spin bowling. Keep your eye on the ball, you're always told, but that's easier said than done. When it's bowled at you by England's king of spin, the beard to be feared, and just when I thought I could read the flight of Moeen Ali's spinning deliveries, the next one would rear up like a snake with increasing pace and, and from a different direction. And then there were the ones that ghosted past me in a blur. Where's it going to bounce? Oh. Where's it gone? Oh, I think I made contact, but I have no idea how, and I had no idea really where it was going. So, Mo, if we ask the Australians not to watch for a few minutes, <laughs> what is your top tips in, in terms of getting the ball to spin? So, it's literally getting my hands used to this sort of movement, where yeah. it's like opening a, a door, hold it quite tight, and really let it rip. Mm. Um, and it takes a lot of, obviously, out of your wrists and mm. um, your fingers. And as you can see, my fingers have been Oh yeah, blisters and blisters and stuff in, in here. So you just get used to that, do you? You just get used to it, your fingers get used to it. So if I want to bowl it slower, I'll release it slightly behind me. Um, that'll be sort of a neutral thing. And if I want to bowl quicker, I'll let it go a bit more in front of oh, okay. me. If you like to tell me maybe, just go ahead. Next week at Edgbaston, Ali will be playing for his country in his home city, just a few miles from the park where he grew up getting his first taste of the sport. It's a great place to see all my friends and been in the park again yesterday. You know, every corner that I drive on around here, it's, there's always a memory. Ali has become an icon, especially for the British Asians, playing grassroots cricket and with ambitions of one day playing for England. I can't believe it. Like, so, like a normal person can like just go into playing international cricket. Because he gave us a few good tips, and we can use them and hopefully get. To, uh, to, uh, to play at Lords. Lovely, that. Thanks to new initiatives by the ECB, like open days at clubs and grants to help strengthen the links between clubs and the community, it is easier now to move up the ladder than when Ali was young and his family had to sacrifice so much. There was a time where when we had no more money left apart from one pound. Um, my dad brought a loaf of bread, um, so we split it in between us all. You really determined to do well for them times. Yeah. Ali, who has been one of England's most effective players against Australia so far, says his Muslim faith has been key to his recent success. He used to be so much into cricket that um, he used to get to me and the pressure of it was um, very difficult for me to handle. But then once I found my religion and other things, then I sort of took a backseat and that actually helped my cricket a lot. And if you needed proof of how humble this England star is, what about his ambitions for the future? I always said to myself that would open a chippy oneself. A chippy? If I, a chippy, yeah, I'd love to. And the other thing I'd love to do is to be a, like a toilet cleaner in a mosque. These are my proper ambitions. Brilliant, just shows there's life beyond cricket, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. You just kind of think about your chippy and it keeps you going. Mike Bushell, the BBC News, down a chippy with Mo and Ali in Birmingham.